Kia ora, hello, and thank you very much for joining us. I'm Philip Duncan. Well, we've been dealing with some pockets of severe weather over the last few days. This is the culprit, and this low pressure system is now finally starting to move away. It's taking its time though on the eastern side of the North Island. So around Gisborne region, you'll still have a bit more rain over the next day or so, showers more tomorrow, and those windy conditions, they will finally start to ease today in coastal areas. But you can see there is a southerly flow around New Zealand. That means the overnight lows are going to drop for the next uh, couple nights ahead. But by the third night, by the time we get to sort of Thursday night, Friday morning, the warm nor'westers are coming back. So we've got high pressure in the Tasman, another low south of Australia, and another high after that. So it's nice and sort of mixed up at the moment. Good variety in the weather. So this is the rainfall for the next two days, 48 hours, across Tuesday and Wednesday. The good news for these areas that have had enough rain maybe, uh, the rainfall totals aren't that great. You know, around Gisborne, 10 millimetres over two days, and a little bit further south in northern Hawke's Bay, wide or area, might be getting up to 15 millimetres, again, over two days. So that's just sort of showers and drizzle patches moving through. The blue you see is also showing just a couple of spits, a couple of showers, nothing major, and there is a few showers also today move up the eastern side of the South Island. All right, it's still a bit windy, I just mentioned that. So the strong winds are out at sea, that's where the gale force winds are. But right along coastal areas, it's blustery. Um, might be just reaching gale force at times, but that windy weather is moving away and the winds have eased a fair bit through Cook Strait. But it might be a little bit windier up here in the north as it all sort of moves sideways, moves out to the east. And finally, the temperatures tonight, as I say, they are dropping. We've got colder than average weather in a number of places in the blue, going right up to Northland. So it'll be four to eight degrees below average up there. So you'll feel that southerly, in, in other words. It's not going to be too major, but you will feel it. In the very southern part of New Zealand, bang on normal for this time of the year. I was just standing in front of this map, the below zero map. If you go to weatherwatch.co.nz, you can see this on our maps and radars section under temperatures, and it highlights everywhere in New Zealand that's going below Below zero. We're actually going to enhance it and we're going to add uh, around the edges those that are going to be two degrees and below. So it just gives you an idea as to where the frost risks will be. Uh, and as you can see, tonight, tomorrow morning, they are in both islands. Right, let us, let us get into the forecast. Here is Wednesday's setup, the blue line showing that colder air. We've still got showers and southerlies along the eastern side of the North Island, but for the most part, it is starting to ease. Might be one or two showers elsewhere but that high is rolling in. So with the southerly and the high, it means that tomorrow night is also cold, more so in the North Island, right all the way up to Northland. Look at these overnight lows, five degrees, six degrees. We might be seeing frosts, you know, up into Waikato. I'd keep a close eye on this. So we've got a cold night coming up. That's tomorrow night going into Thursday morning. Here is lunchtime Thursday. Look at the big high right over the top of you. So if it's not cloudy, it will be a cold start to the day. But further south, look at these winds starting to pick up. You're starting to get those nor'westers coming through out of Australia, partially out of the subtropics. Now that means as we go into Thursday night, Friday morning, the cold is basically evaporating and the warmer than average winds are coming back. So on Friday morning when you wake up, it'll be considerably warmer from about Lake Taupo southwards. Everybody feeling it. In fact, down here in Southland, some areas four to eight degrees above average. So you will, will really notice that nor'wester starting to kick in. Friday looks like this. Nor'west is blowing across the country. Rain on the west coast, gales through Cook Strait and through the Southern Alps, the usual areas. And high pressure is starting to slowly slip off the North Island. Subtropical winds coming through for you on Friday. Uh, we've got a bit more rain coming through. This is the 24-hour rain map for Friday. This rain on the west coast is very heavy, very heavy. There's one section in here which could be getting up to 175 millimetres in just one day. So we're keeping a close eye on that. Otherwise, you're well over the 100 millimetre mark. So there could be some localised slips and flooding on Friday as a result of that nor'wester coming through. Only a few showers into the North Island. Uh, as we go into Saturday, rain on the west coast continues. It slides further northwards. The windy nor'westers continue on. There'll be just a few showers around the North Island. And by the time we get to Sunday, that cold front moves up into Waikato, Auckland and Northland as we go through the day. Now the timing has been shifting. Yesterday it was showing it arriving in the afternoon. Now it's showing it arriving about lunchtime or late morning. So it's going to wiggle around a wee bit. Keep an eye on your local weather watch, rural weather forecast, we'll have you covered. Eastern areas, you will get a little bit of spillover, but it may not be very much. So that is good and bad news, depending on if you've just been flooded or if you need rain, because 
That's the situation on the eastern side of the South Island. Also, there's a southerly building. We'll give you one more map. We'll show you Monday. Here's that southerly coming in. A wintry southerly on Monday next week. There's a huge high out here over Tasmania. And when there's a high over Tasmania, the more it shapes north to south, the bigger reach it has down here and comes up for New Zealand. So this big high is helping to produce this wintry looking southerly kicking off next Monday. That is all from me. We'll see you again tomorrow with our next update.